Hi everybody! Today I'm um, making a card with this stencil and um, it's the Blossom stencil from Create a Smile and um, yes, I want to um, use my watercolor for this um, stencil picture <laughs> or image and I started using my um, Distress Oxide ink and use the stencil as you most of the times uh, use your stencils although there are thousands of uh, thousands of possibilities to use a stencil um, but the most of the time I use it with distress inks or distress oxides so I choose this um, pink color or it's um, picked raspberry uh, I, my first try was with um, yellow because I thought yellow is the lightest color I have from Distress Ink. But um, then I thought when I use um, um, different watercolors, um, the yellow comes through too much. So that is why I started new with this pink one. But um, if you decide to do a card like this with colors like um, orange, red, green, something like that, then I think yellow is a good choice. <clears throat> but yellow was not so good to see because on the other hand, you need a color um, which make you see all these um, parts from the stencil. So I was quite happy with my um, color I choose and then I started coloring. I just took my um, watercolors, um, it's a German company I think, it's uh, from Schminke and I try to color in all these um, <laughs> spaces I filled with my distress ink and at the beginning I thought oh my burger you will take so <laughs> many time for this but on the other hand, it's so relaxing, really. In the Christmas time, I had one day when I um, only stamped images and colored them in. And it was so relaxing because you didn't need to think what doing next and which uh, paper or stamping or embossing or uh, cutting out and this or that. And so, so you are I just sit the whole day and color it. Then I put a sentiment on and then I color it, put a sentiment on. And um, coloring the stencil was um, similar relaxing. It was really um, um, great fun. And on the other side, you, um, the far you come, so uh, the most fun you have because you see the real results already. And the, um, the parts you fill in um, are bigger and bigger. And um, on every part I thought or I tried to start with a darker color and then I cleaned and dried the um, brush to um, lose a lot of color um, to the end of this little part I color in. You see, now I um, put the color with a um, clean brush to the end of this um, part. So I think it is a great effect. So um, here I near to the end. I love this color combo. Um, at first I thought I will just do some or take uh, several reds and pinks. But um, at the end I'm quite happy with choosing this. What is it? A, it's, it's a cold blue and a cold red or light purple also <laughs> also it's a german word sorry so um yes and at the end i used my leftover over colors um for doing these little color drops now i come to the sentiment i also use some leftover blue for um um, coloring in these um leftover um watercolor paper i had um from another project and then i use these dye this is a german word this means danke it's uh, like thanks and uh, but you can always also get this dye in english i think um yes i'm quite sure <laughs> and i think what another good um um extra on your card is when you um double or triple or fourth <laughs> i don't know if, if this word uh, if this word exists so um if you take uh, several layers for your um, die cut 
um, I think one layer is okay and fine, but um, when you um, hold this card in the hand, I think um, when your um, die cut is a lot of thicker, or it's thicker, um, it gives an extra interest. So um, I only took three layers, but I think uh, five are better. <laughs> so, and then I created my second part of my sentiment. I like it very much when I mix a huge die with a little sentiment stamp or with a, a die or a stamp on this kind of um, little um, extra paper. Um, in this case, I had some struggles because these um, cut it extra paper, what, what is it, kind of banner, um, in my opinion, matched, matched, matched not so well to this um, Danke die, or uh, um, Danke die cut, <laughs> but it was okay at the end. So, and um, also, I, for, um, I sorry, I'm, I had such a bad night, I had headaches the whole night through and I can't speak today but today I need to um, upload the video so um, I sitting here with headaches and try to uh, speak uh, oh, sorry so um, yes I add my um, add some double sided fo foam tape to my little sentiment and then I thought these background um, is too much for this little danke. So in this cases I uh, like to use some vellum because um, yes the danke pops more out than before. So uh, vellum uh, to glue vellum on your card it's not so easy. That is why I only use vellum on the most of the times I just use vellum when I can glue it um, on the back side of the card and in this case um, it worked very fine. Also, you can um, put glue under every uh, thing you put on your vellum. So in this case, I put this Danke on the vellum and then I could have done glue on the back side. Well, I like it very much that um, there's still some space between the um, vellum and the background. So as you can see, it's not so sharp anymore. So um, yes, then I put the not best, uh, I found a okay <laughs> position for these uh, oh, this little text means for everything. So we have thank you for everything. And um, yes, this um, there's a matching text uh, stamp set for this die. So you have it in German Danke and German texts. And you have the thank you die and a thank you um, text set. So at the end, I just add some um, sequins. I think I didn't use them for the long time. Sometimes you have times where you use it on every card and then <laughs> um, half in a year uh, you do not use any sequin. So um, finally, this is a card for sequins. <laughs> and also I added some clear Nouveau drops. And yes, now we are near to the end of this video. I'm so sorry for my English as usual, but today I think it's extra bad. This is my finished card. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. Um,